the quarterback matchup in this first game between Brian and myself. Um, I got Colin Kaepernick against Green Bay, 22.27 projected. You got the big PM, the Sheriff. Probably. Hard to give an edge, which is why this matchup intrigues me the way it does. Especially when you got the you got the dual threat with Kaepernick. And then you got the you got the red hot man, you know. Um, I say red hot, it's the first game of the season, so we'll see. But hard to give an edge, so I'm gonna go down to the running back position. I'm working with Doug Martin and Jamal Charles. I believe we're gonna get the starts on my outstanding team. Brian, now here's Brian, I find Brian's very intriguing. He's got Arian Foster, Foster Care, is what I call him, and CJ Spiller, the better CJ. Sorry, Chris. CJ, yeah, CJ Spiller. Um, I had Doug Martin against the Jets defense. I think that whole team is going to be abysmal. So I like, I, like, I like Doug in this matchup. And then, I have Jamal Charles against Jacksonville. Now, the fact that Jamal Charles is against Jacksonville, I think, gives me a huge edge. I can see him giving me 30 points. Eat it, Brian. Um, Brian Foster against San Diego. That's not bad. I'm really curious to see what uh, Coach is going to do with his workload, especially taking Bell and bringing those back. And CJ Spiller versus New England. They're pretty weak against the run, generally speaking. Uh, we'll see what they do this season. So I almost think the running backs, because Jamal Charles against Jackson, Jacksonville is awful. My mother could start a linebacker for Jacksonville. So I'm leaning edge there. And I was going to receive her. It's where this matchup gets really interesting. I'm working with A.J. Green, Victor Cruz, and Reggie Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Uh, Brian, Brandon Marshall, Tory Smith tonight. Once again, Brian, big night for you, brother. Um, and Jordy Nelson. Brandon Marshall, I'm big on. Um, I think it's clearly an edge for Brian. I think the entire Chicago got a record. Chicago's going to have a pretty stellar offense this year. Big on Matt Forte, big on Jay Cutler. I think Brian, I think BM does work for him. Uh, Boy Smith, Nelson, I don't know, AJ Green, if all goes well. Like I said, this matchup is tit for tat. <laughs> don't know if that's the saying. But, once again, that is why, pay, think about it, Colin Kaepernick, Peyton Manning, Arian Foster, Doug Martin, Jamal Charles, CJ Spiller, Victor Cruz, Brandon Marshall, AJ Green, Toy Smith, this matchup, is worthy of the fantasy gurus matchup of the week. Shouldn't sleep on these two either. And let me go ahead and pull up those. Bear with me. Alright, let's see. We got Stan the Man and Keaton. Stanley got Drew Brees, top leading fantasy score last year. They have reached for him. <laughs> Alright, probably didn't. And now speaking of reaching, Keaton had Aaron Rodgers. After taking a wide receiver originally. Uh, the guy's an innovator. We'll see, how that, we'll see how that turns out for him. Uh, Breeze plays the Falcons. Aaron Rodgers plays San Francisco. Two pretty good defenses. Breeze. I think Breeze might outperform Rodgers here. Running backs, this is where this one's interesting. Marshawn Lynch for Stanley. And then Ridley, who could surprise some people. Probably about 1,500 yards, 12 touchdowns. Um, and then T. Rich and David Wilson. Not in love with either. Let's see, imagine. Lynch plays a weak Carolina, and Ridley plays Buffalo. So, if you look at matchups, they're both poised for quite a few points. Um, let's see, we got Richardson and David Wilson, respectively Miami, Dallas. 
Those aren't too good defenses. Miami's apparently supposed to be pretty decent. Dallas, probably run of the middle, middle of the league. So I'm, I'm saying the Heat seemingly once again gets a slight nod. But then again, Trent Richardson, I'm not big on, but everybody else is, so I might just be missing the boat on that one. Ooh, and then we have the one and only Calvin Johnson from Seaton. Probably gets as much as running back week in, week out, or more. Also got Roddy White, who was waived to start. I talked about that. Keem Nix. Versus, we got Demarius Thomas tonight for Stanley. Stanley, I'm sure you'll be glued to your set. Don't blame you. Um, hopefully, Decker doesn't still a couple of running. <laughs> Probably will. Um, Randall Cobb and Amendola. An old St. Louis boy playing for the bad guys now. Sorry, Stan. So, in that regards, Demarius Thomas. It's a big, big night. I'm going to see. They do like to spread the ball around on that offense. They really do. But... He is by far the most athletic receiver with the best quarterback in the NFL. And so, generally speaking, he's going to get you points, even if Decker does take a couple of touchdowns. Not sure what the Ravens are going to bring. Chris, uh, Calvin Johnson, playing Minnesota. God, can you even name one of their cornerbacks? So I think Calvin goes big. I don't know, not, not exactly going out on a limb there. All said and done, Breeze versus Rodgers. Another, see, this is... This is this is close to being matchup of the week. Running backs. Marshawn Lynch. I'm not huge in Seattle, but I mean, he is a top five running back. So I see David Wilson. I don't know enough about, but he's got a good matchup. They play Dallas. He is supposed to be really good this year. He's definitely getting 90% of the carry. So in this matchup. I'm going to get into tight ends. Keaton has the edge at tight end, which actually might be the X Factor here in Jimmy Graham, my personal homeboy. So after all is said and done, I'm giving, I'm actually, I know it's going to surprise me, I think Keaton takes this one and comes down to Sunday night, Monday night games. I know that many players. I think Keaton takes this one. Now we have Christian and Kerry. One I really want to get my chops into. This one's kept me up all week. Um, we had a nice quarterback matchup. I'm not going to play around. That does go to Christian. He's got Tom Brady. Bit of a question mark, New England losing all their receivers to murder. Uh, Matt Ryan on Kerry's side. Brady gets the nod. Um, Playing in Buffalo. Could end up going for 30 points. Matt Ryan's playing New Orleans. Pretty bad defense, too. But Steven Jackson, you know, they might, they might try to be a little more balanced than the Patriots are probably going to be. So I think Christian gets a nod with Tom Brady. So. Receivers, well, excuse me, running backs. Kerry, Ray Rice, LaShawn McCoy. Ray Rice is playing a bit of a tough D tonight. So Kerry, eyes on the set with your father tonight. Um, that should be interesting. I think Ray Rice is good. I think people pass on him a lot. I still have him top four by the end of the season. I think he's good. Will he get his projected 12.7? Probably. He'll probably get in the end zone, and then he'll probably get 70 yards. Um, and Christian, though, has AP. The number one undisputed running back. And Alfred Morris, who I'm big on. I think Morris is fantastic. 1,800 yards rushing his rookie season last year. Teenage touchdowns. I can't help it. Playing against Philly. Good God. I mean, honestly, here, tough defense, easy defense playing. It's Adrian Peterson. I think I give the nod to Christian and running backs, too. Let's just. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's get a wide receivers. Christian Daz Bryant. I think he's going to have a stellar year, finally. Andre Johnson and Decker. All right, so Decker tonight. And then we got Kerry with Julio Jones, Fitzgerald, and Jackson. 
Honestly, the receivers, you get almost crisscross. I'll go to matchups. Decker plays Ravens tonight. I could see him having a double digit game. Stay tuned for that one tonight. I know we're all excited. Andre Johnson plays San Diego. Another one. And then we got Des Bryant playing the Giants. We're keen. Let's see. Kerry's got Larry Fitzgerald versus St. Louis. Fitz goes off on them. He hasn't had a good season in a while, so I do think he'll get you about 15, 17 points, Kerry. Vincent, no, why is he even Kerry? Vincent Jackson plays the Jets. I think he'll get. I think he will catch a bomb, plus probably 100 yards. And then Julio Jones versus New Orleans. He's supposed to be the number one guy and surpass Roddy White in every way. So Kerry, you get the nod at receiver, although it is a little closer on paper. As you can see, it's going to be a fantastic year this year. It's only because of handwriting. <laughs> we can leave the push, though. <laughs> um, really tough to pick a game of the year, or game of the month, maybe a little bit early for that, but game of the week. With this one, I mean, this is an absolute battle of attrition. Gentlemen, starting tonight, we're going to war. I'll be watching this game. I know you guys will be too. I think uh, I think I topple Brian. I think Keaton gets Stanley by a hair. And I like I like Christian. I like Christian probably by ten to fifteen points. Sorry, Gary. Get used to that. Um, we already are. Just kidding. So that's boom, boom, boom. Like I said, though, how can you not just be through the roof? How can you just not be like, your pants fly off with excitement for this year? I know I am. 